Hi, from Access Tucson, where Tucson's on TV, it's the Duke and Cat Show. Tonight's guests are one of a kind Native American flute player, Ty Joel Pinto. Arizona State Senator Olivia Cajero Bedford. Local filmmakers Yuri Machado and Daniel Jeffrey. CEO of SuperMeals.com, Michael Hall. Cool Cat and the Cool Cat Kitty. I'm your announcer, Joe Cox, host of the Flying Circus Club Show. now, America's favorite cable couple, who should be up for Best of Tucson, Duke and Cat! Well, thank you, Joe. We missed you. We missed you. You're back. Glad to be back. All right. Well, thank you. Welcome to the Duke and Cat Show. I am Duke, and this is the lovely cat. Good evening, everyone. That's right. We are here. It's the 28th of September, our show for the month. And we are truly blessed to have a great staff uh, working with us today. We've got Brad directing. We also have Richard running camera three and uh, uh, floor manager. So thank you, Richard. We also have Joe, our announcer, doubling as announcer and a cameraman. We also have Deacon the Old Man. <laughs> we couldn't do it without our crew. That's right. That's right. And Alejandro, who's sitting in on audio for the first time. Thank you, Alejandro. You the man. We, we, we truly appreciate it. But, but we need volunteers here at Access. I mean, we got a skeleton crew today. Normally, we have five or six people running around taking care of the lights and everything. So we really need people to come and help volunteer, learn a new trade. This is something that you, you know, can do when you're 80 years old. You can produce a show, run a camera. So it's nothing that you have to worry about being pushed out at 65. There's movies being shot. Maybe you even have a show that you'd like to produce yourself. So we'd love to have you at AccessTucson.org, who is one of our sponsors as well, Segway. Uh. Yes. Before we get started with tonight's show, we definitely want to thank our sponsors and underwriters that help us um, keep this going. And we especially want to thank Arizona House of Graphics at azhg.com, who helps us out with all our promotional materials. Mm -hmm. uh, we would like to thank Dance of Arabia and DC Unlimited LLC, our production company. That's right. There are no limits. Co is our website. Uh, we would like to thank New Looks Wellness Spa and Salon as as an underwriter. That's right. And who are we forgetting? A uh, personal reality video. How could we forget that? With Brad in the control room. We better. That's He'll right. shut the camera off. That's right. <laughs> we'll be in trouble. This show won't get edited. But Brad wow. does some incredible work. Wait till you see what he's got, you know, in store for this show. We love our new intro and. Thank you, Brad. Our logo, the Duke and Cat Dog and Cat, came from Brad. So Brad's really helped us out, and APR is, you know, one of the finest. They do videos for any occasion, so uh, make sure you stop by there. And also, we have the Cool Cat and the Sign Spinner, who's a, a sponsor on the show, and we appreciate you and, you. you know, what you do here in Tucson. So for those that don't know you, if they haven't, they're pro probably blind or under a rock. Just let everybody know who you are. Well, I'm the cool cat, sign spinner extraordinaire, and I own uh, Street Level Promotions. And we're a guerrilla advertising agency, and myself and my other sign spinners wear this hat, and it, and it, it, it tags them, and plus we, we dance to music and sign spin to music, and it, it just it gives it a, a, a different 
Well, it works. <laughs> it definitely gives it a different look and feel because you can't be missed. If you see this man on the street corner somewhere, you, well, well, people. No accidents because. have been caused, right? No accidents have been caused. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, the lawyer, the lawyer's working on that. So okay, we can't say that. Still in on. litigation. <laughs> uh, no, but the the thing is, is to give him a smile. Um, I like to spin to each person, and at the same time, everyone else thinks that they're also being. You know, and and it just equates to where the the walls are down, and I, I got to check this place out. You know, well, you, I'd you, rather you see somebody. I'd rather see somebody give me a, a look and and do what you do than some of the sign spinners we have in town. That those are sign holders. There there's you go. really some great guys there you out go. there. That's right. <laughs> you know, That's right. And, and, That's right. <laughs> and I'll I'll actually say that there's a lot of them, that, or some of them, or one or two of them maybe, but uh, they have you know some top of the line tricks. That, you know, I don't have, but what I do have is I give them a show. Oh yes, you do. <laughs> oh you yes, know, you that's do. That's the difference. But you started you started with newspapers, right? Yeah. <laughs> there's yeah. a video up on his page. He has a Duke. Uh, he has a channel on our on our dukeandcat.com but you should see some of his videos how he was discovered I should say yeah and and and, mm -hmm. and that's just for a lady by Deb Weisel of Tagline Media Group um, I was a new watch on the show hawker. Deb yeah she's that's great right. my angel in disguise who what a disguise <laughs> uh, but uh, you know she she came by she never bought a paper funny thing she never bought a paper and and one day she pulled up and I said well Looks like the, the heat's on because it was just hitting summer last year. Oh, and brutal. she says, yeah, but you're out of here at noon. I said, well, ma'am, I go sign spin until 5 o'clock. Oh, you're a sign spinner. I said, yes, ma'am, I'd like to start a sign spinning company. Oh, really? Light turned green. She was gone. Two days later, she come up, gave me her card and says, let's do this. You know, she d built and designed my website for me, nice gave website. me my first sign, brought me a, a box of 1,000 business cards, said, go forth, therefore, and multiply. And then that is exactly what you have done. <laughs> okay. Yes, you do. Yes. And, 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 and this is your uh, CEO, I think, right? This is the owner of Cool Cat Street that's Level right, Promotion, right. right here. That's right. Christian, see? she is the owner, you know? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> that's, all, that's, all, that's all the CEO has to say is hello, hello. 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 So, so thank you for coming, Christiana. You're welcome. We love you spinning signs on our show. Everybody loves watching the videos online. You are amazing. Yeah, everything like spins. It's fast, huh? Spinning, dancing, singing, oh. a lot of things. I know. And dancing without singing, sitting with <laughs> dancing, a lot of things with the music. I love your business plan. I really do. <laughs> <It's> just... <laughs> I don't know where she gets it from. It's it's not. Singing without no, dancing and dancing it. without That's singing. Right. Business like man it. over there. <laughs> so you come, you come, you come on our show every single time. We yeah, sometimes I'm at my mom. Oh really? You want to say hi to your mom on, if she's watching? And uh, she's not. She never watched. Oh. oh no. She's not a Dewey Cat Show fan. Well, uh oh, we, we're gonna have to talk to we her. Gotta, so cool. <laughs> we gotta yeah, fix. I you never seen my mom. We gotta see. We gotta fix that. We gotta give her a show. Give her a show copy that she's gonna love with you yeah, dancing we'll on. Like the like the belly dancing show. You remember the belly dancing show? Yeah, that was really cool. We got a lot of pictures of that. Day. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, we did. Oh, for you. Really, I really love the pale bellies. <laughs> The belly dancing? dancing? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah that was her favorite one because she got to wake you guys That's up. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. If you guys missed it, you can go back on uh, YouTube and you can find these and or also on, on Duke and Cat. All the Duke, Duke, Duke and Cat, Cat dances. That's right. The That's videos, right. all Or you could go on dukeandcat.com. See? Like. <laughs> That's my baby right there. Man, I'm Her cutting that clip out. That's it. I took over on you. <laughs> yes, you're going to get your own show. That's one day. That's... So we got a lot of people to do, and we got a lot of great music. We got a guy on that plays a flute. He is fantastic. So we're going to get started with the show. Is that cool? You... Remember, I 
Mom say you want to do the Halloween and um. That's next month. That's next month. Next month yeah. we'll do yeah. the Halloween show. At the end of like October. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yes, it's coming. Man, I'm telling you, I would have passed. Monday. I would have passed with flying colors. All right, so. On the, on the other day, it's going to be my maybe Christmas. See the red light? I need to be quiet. <laughs> That's not true. I know. <laughs> You're not the huge boss. <laughs> That's right. You're the CEO. You're the boss, right? Okay. Well, we'll go with that. <laughs> See, he's, Are you crazy? See, he's getting, he's getting in the position over there. <laughs> So are you ready to go join uh, the, the audience here and watch this flute player? Yeah. Say, 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 to every, say to everybody, and now Mr. Tigel Pinto. Hold the mic up. Mr. Tigel Pinto. One of the songs we're going to hear from Tidal tonight, he will be back. We are definitely, like I said, there's so much talent here in Tucson. It's, it's sad that it isn't covered more, but that's why we're here, doggone it. And now we are truly on it. I mean, we, we started off in Studio B, and, you know, we, but now we have a state senator on our show. Wow, I am truly impressed. My own <laughs> So... <laughs> 
so we met we met her because Cool Cat was out spinning and she hired him and she was using him for uh right off of Valencia and I I nineteen. So we went and grabbed a camera and went down there and it was a great day. It was a pleasure meeting you. So um I wanna get it right. Olivia Cajero. Got it. Bedford. Bedford. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, our US to say it is a pleasure to be here and to have met you and we were out on a street corner and it stinks to the street the, the cool cat is the man extraordinary yes cool cat cody norman yes he is the man uh, he yes. is just the best i i was out i campaign using my purple truck and signs and i hang out on street corners and by the way i won my election by a landslide campaign and I was out on the street corner hanging out waving at people with my signs and I had the good fortune of meeting the sign spinner Cody Norman he came over to help me that's how it, we, we met I was having some trouble all of a sudden there's this man with the doctor with the Seuss hat <laughs> I don't know where it comes from <laughs> but he helped me and so we got to know each other and I hired him for my, the last time I was out on the street. I was out 22 times. Wow. He was the grand finale. <laughs> he had a shirt with red, white, and blue stripes and, and the red glasses, and he had a big sign that said, vote, Cajero Bedford. And uh, people were, the traffic was, was tremendous, a lot of cars, mm -hmm. but people were going by, it was after work, and usually they're going home and they're like this, but people were laughing and just having the best time watching us with, while we were campaigning. I was laughing, and it was just the best grand finale. And he helped my campaign so much. Well, I mean, and so as a result, I get to be here and to meet you lovely well, people. Well, I'm Thank telling you, you. He, he is amazing. <laughs> he, he puts smiles on people's faces, like you said, when they're tired. Yeah, and, that's you know, right. That's he, he, he is, but we're glad we met you. We, we are, you know, impressed that we have somebody on of yours. You know, yeah. status on our show. That means we're growing am, a little. I am a, I am a, <laughs> my job, my job is to be of service to you, to people that need help. You know, to fight for education money, to fight for, you know, people that need help with access. Whatever I can do, I am beholden to you. So whatever I can do to help people. I'll leave my, my email address. People can contact me, yes. and I'd be glad to help. Well, it was such a pleasure meeting you, Olivia, and you have a very interesting story. I think our viewers would be very interested to know a little bit more about you and your, your history as a That's senator, true. and uh, you've, you've actually been a senator for, for some time. Two years. I have been. I got involved in politics because both my mother and my father served in the Arizona House of Representatives. My father first got elected in 1968, and he had a heart attack, died in office in 1973. Mm. My mother used to go with him every, they used to drive to Phoenix every day. And when he died, we, I got, I made sure that we got her appointed. The, the family had not even, we had not even paid off the debt for the campaign. He died shortly after the campaign. And she was knowledgeable because she was there at the legislature every day. So she got appointed and uh, she served for 24 years. Wow. This was before term limits. And my father had run because he was president of uh, uh, the uh, parent teacher organization at Pueblo High School. And during that time, uh, parents had to buy textbooks for their high school children. And many of the families, a lot on the south side could not afford that and my father got very involved with the, with the students and, and who, the work he was doing and if there was a student not at school he would go to their house and find out from the parents why they were not there and many times the parent would say I can't afford the textbooks I'm ashamed to send my child to school so my father decided that that was an issue that he wanted to work on and, and run for the legislature my mother became the, the legislator, and it took almost 15 years for her to get the bill passed. But in 1985, with the help of Governor Babbitt, 
the money was appropriated and high school students got their books. It took that long, but it was a, a, a momentous uh, achievement. And during all that time, I was always helping somehow with campaign stuffing envelopes, going door to door, whatever. And, uh, but I had children, I had a business, and uh, finally, the time came when there was an opportunity. And this is my 10th year of service. Wow. And I've been, I've worked very hard, and uh, I've worked hard to earn the respect of the people I represent. And I've always been the top vote getter. So I well, hope it was I'd a like landslide this last yes, time. Well, so congratulations to you. But I had a lot of help. <laughs> I had a lot of people knew because I had this tough competition. A lot of people just came forward. It really surprised me how much support I had. Uh, the people said, "We like you. We want to keep you." I, uh, it was humbling, and I'm honored. And it's wonderful well, to be here you. with you. <laughs> well, thank you so much. And so. Uh, so with your your tenure now, uh, it's I think you mentioned 40 years since uh, there has been a Cajero at the legislature now for 40. Come January 1, my dad served five years, my mother 24. This is my 10th year. I'll be starting my 11th year. So there will have been a Cajero at the legislature for 40 years. So wow. congratulations. Wow. So do you have a website that people can go yes, to? Yes, I, I will leave that with you. It's my work uh, uh, website. And, uh, uh, and and could you yeah, say just it, for, just, yeah, for uh, say it verbally we'll, while we're on the air? So uh, Yeah, we'll type it down there. Oh, yeah. oh okay. <laughs> <laughs> my assistant always gives it out. Isn't that terrible? <laughs> but that's what assistants are. I need really one of no, them. Websites and passwords. I need just, that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> But I'll yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll I'm, get it and we'll yeah, put it on there. Right, right, are you right. saying I'm right. slacking on the job? It's, it's, no, 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 no. <laughs> you need no, an no, assistant. No. I was just kidding. It's azleg.gov. Uh, azleg.gov. Yeah, right, right. azleg.gov. Right. You right. can and I will find her. write it out for you so you can put okay. it on the screen. Okay? Yes, we will. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you so much for, yes. for coming wonderful. on our show. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. And congratulations. Thank you so much. Yes. Okay. Again, it's Olivia Tajero Bedford. Now back to Tiger. Oh, that's fine. Hey, we'll, we'll get with you. So, so for everybody that don't know you, go ahead and tell everybody again who you are. I am Tigel Pinto. Um, I'm from Crystal, New Mexico. I've been here in Tucson for about 10 years. And um, yeah, haven't looked back ever since. It's been a great place. I love the people. I have not had, well, I've had a couple bad days, but they weren't like something that would stain my whole year or anything. <laughs> so, but amazing musicians out wherever you go, and that's what I love about this place. Is and what what are you? What type of music are you playing? Who is this? Um, I'm playing the Navajo flute with 
uh, I throw a little bit of the tradition in there, and I also um, throw in my own little twist, uh, the hip hop influence. So, and oh, I take. I like that. I, we heard that. Yeah, like yeah thank that. you. And that so was much. beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate it. Thank you for having me on. Yeah. And <laughs> do you do you, do you have a web page or do you reverb? Everybody else has, you know, all these. Well, it's the 21st century. We all have Facebook, so I do have I do have a Facebook page. It's Tigel Pinto on yeah uh, Facebook. Mm -hmm. So um, if you like the page, like the page, and that's basically what I do and what I love to do. I just put it my heart and soul into my music. Well, Dell is a good friend of ours. We've had Dell on the show as well. So you are now hooked up with Bajito Onda. Bajito Onda, yes. Mm -hmm. And what is your affiliation? Well, how do you guys? Uh, Dell no, is, or met each other, I should say. Oh, actually, I met Dell at a drumming party, to be exact. Uh, he came up, talked to me. We had a conversation. He says, "Have you ever wanted to learn how to print?" I'm like, "Well, what? What do you mean? Like, what kind of printing?" He says, "Like shirts and stuff." I'm like, "All right." So he goes, "Shirts. I can teach you vinyl. I can teach you this. I can teach you that. And I could teach you knowledge that you don't learn anywhere else. I can give you applicable knowledge. Mm -hmm. You'll learn it here, and you'll be able to use it for the rest of your life." And Dell is good. That's right. Yes, very so good at that. Truly glad to have Dell in the audience. Yes, yes. Dell. Yeah, Dell, Dell and I go way back to Texas, so that's a long story. <laughs> right. Well, we want to thank you for coming in. You you filled in. We had a band, and and things went uh, a different direction. So you stepped in, and I appreciate you, you know, showing your talent. I and love uh, you're always invited to come back to our show. You know, we truly appreciate your your artistic quality. So thank, thank you, Thank you Tigel. so much. I appreciate Again, that. Again, Tyjo Pinto, everybody. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. I think we should get paid by Facebook because everybody on our show is from Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> so the next guest, you know, we're always on Facebook. If, if I'm not tweeting about something on Twitter, we're on Facebook. And this guy, we started, you know, he had a business and we had a business and we'd say hi to each other. And before you knew it, it was like, you got to come on our show and tell everybody what you're doing. Because, like I said, we really like to promote all the great things happening in Tucson. Not the SP10 noise, not the election crap. You know, we really have some talented people here as artists and as well as business owners. So without further ado, from the, and let me get this right, Global Social, Social Media Group, we have Peter Newscheller and Janet Lennox. So, Facebook buddy, how you doing? <laughs> I'm doing good. It, it, it fin first, finally in person. Yeah, you, you know, I, 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 I'm, I'm so out there on social media and have been for so long, I very rarely get to meet people. <laughs> um, sometimes at Safeways or Fry's, people run up to me and they give me hugs at Starbucks, right. and, uh, and I don't know who they are. So, and, and I said it the other day on social media, I was stoked to come on the show. <laughs> um, you know, matter of fact, Chris Cox and Shauna Marino first yes. are the ones that, that told me about you guys. Oh, I've cool. kind of followed you for a little bit right. when I have time. So uh, when you gave me a phone call, it was it was definitely nice to be on. So. Hey man, we love people doing positive, and thanks for you know Sean and Chris. We met them when we were doing a radio show radio for a show. temporary mm -hmm. time at the, the Joel. At the mm -hmm. Joel. At the Joel. Yes. Yeah. yeah, they they used to have me on the uh, the marketing the report. The marketing report. Uh, yes. I did a couple episodes on on uh, marketing on it. They had me actually on their uh, on their magazine, oh, uh, right. TMR Online, on the front cover as uh, <laughs> the insights. Of a marketing monster, I think it oh, was. Oh wow! The Tucson marketing monster. I hear that about you. Man. <laughs> They're not the only ones saying that. You're tough. Out uh, there. That's I what try. I hear. <laughs> I definitely try. And and this is your. This is Janet Lennox. She is the national sales director for the Global Social Media Group. So you so you're you're the you're the you're watching over him, or you trying um, yeah. to? Yeah, I keep him in check. Keep, hey, yeah. hey, somebody needs to. Man. <laughs> you know, he used to be MMA, so you really got to watch him. I know. <laughs> yeah, I got beat up a lot in MMA. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe you can show me some moves later, man. I gotta, you know. Keep well, can you can you apply the MMA strategy to social media marketing? Actually, you, you can to a degree. You can mm -hmm. you can uh, you can put it into the realm of, of exercise. You know, the the hardest thing that people do is to get started. Okay, the second hardest thing is to be consistent. Right. And it's the same thing with social media because people view social media, in in my opinion. An incorrect way. They they view social media as a revenue generating environment. It's not. 
uh, it's a branding opportunity and it's to get you to a place where you can sell them a website mm -hmm. or a storefront um, and the vehicle that we have at Global Social Media Group is really a marketing vehicle it just happens we market on social media or a component of social media mm -hmm. and that happens to be Facebook which is the largest medium of consumers today um, you know there's a billion people on all forms of social media oh, man, um, yeah. your best traction to get at a consumer is to be able to have your message go viral through your fan page um, and then attract them back to a website or a storefront. Right. So, uh, so it's a pretty powerful tool. Um, the good thing about a global social media group, at least from my standpoint, I think people that have followed my career um, in the last couple years see me out there in, in Tucson. I do local coffees, the Pete Neuscheller Big Coffee Extravaganza that you guys haven't been to. No, we got to Not go yet. Um, I have about 100 people that come to them, and I don't do it for the benefit of me. I do it for the benefit of the coffee shop. Um, I won't name the coffee shop, but I stopped doing my coffees there, and six months later, they went out of business. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> uh -oh. Um, but Global is a local company. Now, we do business locally, statewide, regionally, nationally, internationally. The last week, I've been on phone calls with Europe um, five, six, seven, eight times. Uh, I don't know if I have international calling. We'll see next month when I get the bill. Um, no but, teller! <laughs> but the good thing about it for me is that this business is local here. The That's monies it. that we make, the, 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 um, the people that we implore, okay, that make money will be located here because I'm, I'm not leaving this company. And, and luckily I've got a great national sales director that is heading that across the country. So. And you are from? I'm actually, I was um, raised for the most part here in Tucson. I went to high school in Tucson. I went to Pima Community College for a little bit. Um, my husband and I met in high school. Wow. And so I have, I have roots in Tucson. I have, you know, a love for the city. And so it's, it's nice to be able to work in a place that I love and our families are here and, and be able to see what Global is doing for other businesses and helping them grow at the same time. So is that what you guys mainly do? You hook up with businesses and show them how to... Re really what we have is, is we have a system in place. Uh, they're members, just like a chamber, just like an organization. Matter of fact, the Tucson Hispanic Chamber is a member of ours. We've created a strategic alliance between the two of us where we built something called the Tucson Hispanic Cham THCC Social Media Club run by GSMG, that all of their members will be into this program. Um, but what we really do is we take members that support people. One of the differences that we have comparable to chambers, and I I've been involved with almost every chamber in Arizona, um, in New England where I'm originally from, and one of the things that I notice about chambers is that you meet twice a month okay um, you know maybe 30 40 percent of them um, you know they're active within the community and then maybe they keep in touch but maybe they don't mm -hmm. um, and and what we've designed is a program that you don't see each other face to face like we've never seen each other right. face to face <laughs> okay but they talk every day they know exactly what's going on in that business five days a week so that when they do get together they don't want to talk about training for social media they want to just meet it is it's, it's very much like a family environment but what it also does is it promotes this in-house referral business that we don't mandate okay Janet doesn't talk about it I don't talk about it but when you talk to to Incaholics who's a member the Tucson Hispanic Chamber of Commerce the World Fighting Federation your pinups um, pin Mo Ray um, list goes on and on I can't name everybody it gets to the point where uh, Kimmy Donahue who's just coming on board with American Family Insurance after a month, two months, when someone asks you who do you need for insurance, you're just going to mention it. And that's really the beauty of the program. It's not just that the message goes viral across the globe. It's that you've created this community environment with people where they really have an understanding of what you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis, not twice a month. In saying that, um, you know, the Tucson Hispanic Chamber of Commerce, I had other opportunities to deal with other chambers, and I chose that chamber right. because in being involved with all the chambers that I have, this without a doubt was the best chamber I've ever seen. Leah um, runs a heck of a show. Le Leah, Marquez, Leah Marquez Peterson <coughs> is a phenomenal president. She's a great leader. Yes, she um, she's great vision, um, and that's why we strategically partnered with them. So. Well, we, we definitely want to sit and have coffee with you, whether it's 100 people or just us. As long as I get the cup. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that can be arranged. On our e-shop. <laughs> <laughs> I got to throw a little added. <laughs> well, you know, we definitely, like I said, you and I are going to talk about, you know, creating a show or where we get more time. We definitely have a packed show. I want to make sure that everybody gets on. But We would love to come back on. Definitely. Yeah, just uh, where can people find out more information other um, than... 
Facebook. Well, re realistically, you know, we, we, are, we, are a, we are a company that resides on social media. They can find us on Facebook where we post every day. It's very active. It's the, social, the Global Social Media Group. Our, our website is pretty easy. That com that's, will be actually up on Monday is www. I don't know if I need to say that or not. Yeah, the <laughs> global social media group com. So it's all so pretty simple. much standard yeah. and the same. Okay. And then there, on the Facebook, there are off links to that. You can actually find Janet has her own fan page. Mm -hmm. I have my own personal fan page. Keith Powell, who is our Oregon State account executive, has his own fan page. Um, so that's probably the best way to reach us. Mm -hmm. Well, we appreciate it again. Um, it's all about Tucson. Get in touch with these people. We're supporting all the good things that are happening in Tucson, and you can find out more about this on, on Facebook, their pages, on, of course, on our pages. We're always trading information on it. But mm -hmm. <coughs> Put the power of social media to work for you. You got that. We got our own. We got yes. the best here in Tucson, so let's put it together. So, ladies and gentlemen, again, from the Global Social Media Group, Mr. Peter Newsheller. New Sheller <laughs> and <laughs> Janet Lennox. I'll get it right, though. You did it right three times. <laughs> uh, thanks for having us on. We appreciate it. Thank you so very much. Hey, Bray, we're going to play that Duke and Cat promo, baby. Let's do it. Hey, baby. Hey, dude. You still are looking around. Well, thank you, baby. I heard you got the rap thing on it. I do. Would you like to hear it? Tonight, 8 p.m. is when we show our show on Cox Channel 20 and Comcast 74. And as we are blessed to have all these great musicians and, and guests in our show, we are blessed to have Mrs. Susan Ronstan of the Stolen Heart Trio. One one third, one third of the trio um, is here. Yes. <laughs> And, and, and with her highly illegal bottle of water. Yes, let, yes, let, there let we me go. just take yes, that away from you. Go, there, yes. <laughs> so. <laughs> Susan, so it's, thank it's, you it's for great coming. to have you on the show. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you. <coughs> and you guys performed for us at our show on Sunday at the runway. Yes. You and your band members are? Um, I am Susan Ronstadt, the vocalist for Stolen Heart Jazz Trio, and we are very lucky to have John Einwick on the piano. He is the in-house piano player for the last 20 or 30 years at Sullivan Steakhouse. Wow. He also is in the Glenn uh, Gross Jazz Quartet along with um, Malik Elkabir on the sax from New York. Awesome guys, they are both. Yeah. Fantastic musicians. Yes, yes. So, how did you luck up in uh... <laughs> Well, I started four years ago a music concert for low-income seniors at a place called um, Strauss Manor. And I've been fortunate enough to have John Iwick on the piano all that time. Wow. So, we've worked up um, quite a lot of uh, songs. And uh, just recently, we have, um, I have been singing with Jimmy and the Jitterbugs Jazz Band. And um, Malik was playing with them a little bit, and so somehow all the forces came together. That's right. <laughs> and now I have my demo. Woohoo! And I have my business card with Facebook. All right. <laughs> Should I read it off? Yes, yes. yes. Please do. <laughs> Tell everybody how they can get in touch with you. You can get a hold of us on Facebook, facebook.com slash susan.ronstadt.5. And yes, I am related to the famous Ronstadt family. That's right. So. And she's gifted as well. Yes. <laughs> 
they came they came and performed at our uh, gig that we do on Sundays at the, the runway. And if you want to see their performance, it's on dukeandcat.com. We have a special page live from the runway with Duke and Cat where we put up all the shows that we were. And you guys did a great job. I mean, we. I really, really Thank enjoyed you. your yes, sets. You, you had a great time, and we had a great time. We love, you know, the the opportunities you guys have. Are you playing any steady place, or can people hire you? Or um, our next gig is on Sunday. October 14th at 2.30 at Strauss Manor, 370 North Pantano Road, just north of uh, Broadway, and it's open to the public. And we are going to, um, our theme, four-year anniversary is we are revisiting Woodstock, <laughs> and we're all going to wear hippie clothes. All right. <laughs> And you want to know all the talent that's coming? Uh-oh, tell us. All the talent that is coming, we have Drake Flores that I go way back from. He's a one-man band. He plays the uh, piano and the steel guitar. He does a Buddy Holly rock and roll. And, and of course, we're going to have to do um, some of the uh, Woodstock songs and um, some Mexican uh, music. And um, I, I may have a singer who's going to do the uh, Janis Joplin songs. And um, or you're not going to do those? I'm going to do uh, one of them. It's called The Rose. Oh, that's a beautiful ah. song. Yes. And the other gal is going to do um, Bobby McGee and a few other ones. How about Ball and Chain? That's my yes. favorite. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hey, you guys are having too much fun. We got too many people on the show. <laughs> we we got we could have this a six-hour conversation about okay. Woodstock and all, all that. Right. Oh, we got it's them all been a pleasure up. to be here, and these guys are just wonderful, and the work that they do has to be commended. Yes. Well, well we thank, thank you, you Susan. For coming thank on. you for coming on the okay. show. So, Susan, wait, wait, wait. wait. Yeah, just, just, just have a seat then. So, we are going to uh, as she departs we're going to play a portion of uh the show at the runway so you guys can see a taste of that so go ahead and play that video brad this is our hank williams song and this is our hank williams song show at the runway every Sunday night 7 till 10 any band that wants to come play on there we feed you I cook like a champion that's all <laughs> I gotta say and this is the lady that puts the sides together that makes people just go crazy for our food so 7 to 10 we do the show every uh, Sunday and then we post it up on our dukeandcat.com and uh, like I said our main thing is to showcase all the great things happening here and our next two guests have been on our show before, and they do nothing but great things here in Tucson. And they're here to let us know about this fundraiser they got going on that we have mm -hmm. to attend. So, oh, we better get it on the calendar now yeah, you know, you know, because you yeah, know what you happens. Know so, ladies and gentlemen, we go, from, to, we go to events <laughs> before they happen. <laughs> we like to stake things out. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, from Authentic Productions, Mr. Yuri Machado and Daniel Geffrey. Show. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> He's a comedian. <laughs> well, glad you guys are back. How, what's Thank been happening since us. we had you on last? Um, well, we've got a lot of things going on. We're shooting a bunch of short films and 
documentaries and TV shows. You know, we need a part. <laughs> we're available. <laughs> and uh, the next thing we're doing is a screening of everything we've been doing since we were last on the show. I think on, last time I was on the show, I was talking about one of the TV shows I was doing. Yes. 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 And I, we're not showing that one because that's on TV now. Oh, is it? Great. Yeah. Oh, great. But we're showing all the stuff that we've been doing since then. And this is all local stuff here? Yeah, all local. Tucson? Everything's shot in Tucson, yeah. And mm -hmm. the uh, event is when? It's November 16th. And that's? Mm -hmm. Um, it's going to be start at 9.30, all the way, it goes all the way to 11 o'clock at the Crossroads Theater. That's mm -hmm. on Grant, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, Grant's one. So it's going to be a screening of, of your different films and projects? The best the of best. 2012, yes. Uh, great. Ooh, and then, yes, we definitely we definitely <laughs> need to be there. We have to get that on the calendar. Uh -huh. So so how many clips or how long is the best of 2012? Um, we have a total of nine films. Um, and it's going to be a total of like an hour, not 15 minutes. Oh, okay. Um, we're not showing the TV right. shows completely. We're showing uh, promos of them, and we're showing short films and short documentaries. Now, if you want something done in town, I'm telling you, you want to get into acting, you <laughs> want to get into producing, this is the guy to follow, because I'm telling you, he's all over the place, shooting music videos, shooting film. And this one over here, he's, you know, <laughs> I'm telling you, Facebook, they, you can post everything, so we know what he's up to, and he's always in the community. We see Daniel all over the place. Duke, I need to come on the show, man. We got something to promote. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm thankful for guys like you to keep me on my toes. This is something that I always wanted to do when I was growing up, so. Oh, know. thank you. Yeah, we, uh, I, I started working with Yuri. Um, I went to Pima with him back in 2007, 2008, and we did a screening last year as well, Best Of. And we're doing it again this year, of course, and I have a, another short film that I had filmed with him that we're completing now and um, also some sketch comedy as well. I've been wanting to do that since I was about 10 years old. Mm -hmm. And I decided, why, why am I not doing it? And uh, we named the group Peanut Butter Hour. <laughs> and uh, uh, we're gonna have three different sketches involved and we're gonna be screening them there before we show them online through our uh, website for YouTube, Peanut Butter Hour. Okay. Which is basically youtube.com slash peanut butter hour. Right. Mm -hmm. So we'll start releasing one at a time uh, every single month after the screening, actually. And how long do the segments last? Uh, well, they vary. Um, we have three of them. There's the World's Worst Chef, which is just me. That ends up, ended up being really long, but we cut it down to eight minutes. Uh, we had another one called Angry GPS that went for about four minutes. It's I where, like it already. Uh, yeah. GPS gets really angry at the people driving, and then... Um, <laughs> Well, I got an idea for you. <laughs> <laughs> and then the last one we had was uh, two thugs, how to eat cereal. And there are these <laughs> two thugs, and they try to make eating cereal, like, really hard. And they try to be real, you know, like, gangster at it. Right. It's really silly at the same time. I can't wait to see that. That <laughs> sounds really great. Well, we're definitely going to have to have you guys come and perform. You know, once you get oh, there. Yeah, we'd love to do something live. Yeah. That, yeah. that would be yeah, great. We, we, we got, I mean, we started doing some sketch comedy, but, you know, we, we definitely want to get back into it. So, mm -hmm. yeah, we'd love to have you guys on the show. And Oh, sure, that'd be a lot of fun. We, we should show you some that. of our clips and let you critique it for <laughs> us. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we need some help, that's, that's for sure. All right, cool. So, as you know, we got a pack pack show. Mm -hmm. uh, sure. Again, tell everybody what's coming up with the, the event. Oh, uh, tell, tell us about the video clip that you brought with you. Oh, right. yeah, we're going to, yes, that's right. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. That's actually Thank a you. problem. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be for the World's Worst Chef. It's the first sketch that we did. We're going to be showing at the, at the event, so it's, uh, it's a short video clip to let people know what to expect. All right, yes. when you guys disappear, we're going to roll that clip. So how do people get in touch with you if they want to? Uh, they can find us on Facebook, uh, facebook.com slash authenticproductions.com. Mm -hmm. um, they can find us online, authenticproductionsllc.com. Um, yeah, just basically that's it. And then around town, I'm sure you're going to see. <laughs> yeah, see. You're in the camera. You see somebody with the camera, that's me. <laughs> well, again, thank you guys for doing what you do for Tucson. Okay. You know, we're... We're truly thankful that you came back on our show again, and feel free to come by anytime and contact me and let me know what's going on. So, again, ladies and gentlemen, from Authentic Productions, Mr. Yuri Machado and Daniel Geffrey. Yeah. Hi, my name is Daniel Geffrey. I'm the writer and main actor for The World's Worst Chef. I came up with the idea, basically, there's just too much professionalism in the world, and I thought, what better way for all these cooking shows to have someone that knows nothing of what they're doing? 
make something simple like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, but we start adding lettuce, tomatoes, onions, just tons of stuff you don't need. And it was a great experience. I had everyone bursting on, on set. I was just lost in this character who was just basically mixing flour, water, just insane stuff and just turning on all these burners randomly. And it was, it was a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoy watching it. That festival, that is going to be great. Man, is that funny or what? These guys, I'm, I'm, I'm excited to work uh, with them closely. Maybe on the next project, we yes, can uh, be on Yes, I one think of they these. could whip us into shape, don't you think? Well, yeah, they can make Pookie and Ray Ray a little bit. Uh, yeah, they can make <laughs> us look a little bit better. <laughs> so again, Facebook. Facebook. <laughs> I'm telling you, we need plugs from Facebook. You hear that, Mr. Uh, uh, what's his rich name? Zuckerberg again? Yes, Mr. Zuckerberg. He had no idea what he created that it would be like this, I guarantee you that. But through Facebook, I met another great guy that's doing some fantastic things here in Tucson, but also for Arizona. You know, we see these deals online, uh, half off, 75% off at some of these places, but a lot of that money doesn't stay here in Tucson or in Arizona. Well, Mr. Mike Hall, Michael Hall, which is one of my friend's name from high school, which is so good that I can remember this, and I don't have to worry about any new things. You, you actually didn't mess any names up tonight. You've been doing really It's not Friday the 13th. That's why. I did that on Friday the 13th. But Mike has created such a great thing called SuperDealsAZ.com, and he offers a lot of uh, deals for the merchants here in Tucson mm -hmm. and surrounding Arizona. So we are proud to have him on our show, the CEO of SuperDealsAZ.com, Mr. Michael Hall. First, thanks for having me on the show. Yeah, this is our first time you. meeting face to face. Face to face, I know. Yes. See, face to face as opposed to Facebook. Right. <laughs> you know, as we met on Facebook as well initially. Um, so yeah, we're really excited. We just started with SuperDealsAZ.com. Uh, uh, we just uh, Friday last week oh, we nice. posted our first deal with a local business, Health Awareness Bodywork Therapies. Um, so we're yeah, really, I saw that massage thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I tell you, uh, they'll beat you up. Yeah, I tell you. But uh, yeah, we're really excited. Uh, the concept is, I mean, I'm a Tucsonan. I was born here, so one of the few that are left, yes, I guess. Yes, you are. Yes. Um, and it's always a concern that 85% of money is leaving Arizona when you're when you're patronizing these larger businesses right. and they have their purpose in the world we're not saying don't use them my goal is to have everyone support Arizona local businesses Good job. And, That's what we need. Of course, and I met Cody on, on Facebook too going back and forth a hundred times and man I'm telling you this cool him. cat is amazing That's uh, all I gotta he say. Is. so I'm gonna hook up with him later so <laughs> um, but the the main concern that is always uh, with any local business, a small business owner, is how can they fund the advertising? Usually the first thing that gets cut is how do I advertise because it's really tight. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so what I offer is that the merchants can post their deal on my site for free. I absorb all the costs. So they can post that and then all of the subscribers will get the deal sent to their email. And if they like it, great. If they don't, then uh, they move on to the next deal. Right. Um, and what I have done is that each of the local merchants, they keep 80% of the uh, revenue generated. Hey, and that's, that's nice. you know, the, the big guns out there, national co corporations, they take 50%. Right. And it's really important. You know, the, the job is to make money for the merchant so they can stay in business. Because um, I created Super Deals AZ to support Arizona businesses, mm -hmm. the Arizona economy, and Arizona charities, nonprofit organizations. Yes, you do work with and charities. That's yes, right. and that's why Super Deals AZ, we donate 50% of all of our profits to Arizona charities and nonprofits. I like that. So, yes. Um, we're really excited. Uh, St. Joseph's Catholic School is the first recipient for our donations. So, Who's that again? Uh, St. Joseph's Catholic St. School. St. Joseph's, congratulations. Uh, so, all the donations for this first. Uh, um, promotion uh, month will go to them and it's hopefully going to help them create a little extra on their 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 uh, sports programs uh, they're going to start a soccer program this uh, oh, next nice. year which is exciting so um, yeah. football that's right you know, get ready for World Cup <laughs> um, so everything is 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 going great and we really appreciate it the way we're getting the word out is through uh, social media like uh, 
uh, the group you had on earlier. We're going to yes. chat as well. And, that's and right. And without you guys, we could not do this. Well, that's what I love about our show. We bring together a lot of people who probably normally wouldn't meet, and that's right. what we love, that, you know, they can work together and build something from it, so we are truly blessed. I, it, Absolutely. It's, uh, it, it's, a, it's a packed show. We, we are oh, yeah. truly blessed that you, you know, found time to come down here and, and give us some information, so we're definitely going to, you know, help promote Super deal, super deal, deals. Z, right. <laughs> AZ.com. And uh, of course, you go to dukeandcat.com and our pages as well. We'll have information about his website as well. So, being a uh, uh, native Arizonan is a plus. That's we, right. we love that you want to keep the dollars here and that you're doing something that's not a norm. You know, you're giving more of the profits back to. The business owners which you know they definitely need absolutely so we and the local charities and so, that's right and the local charities so, so i would just finalize just saying uh whichever charity or nonprofit organization is sponsored we i leave it up to you all so we ask for suggestions what uh organization is in need so please let us know and that way we can get in touch with them so well, thank you so much no thank you again thank you. ladies and gentlemen mike michael hall You can, you can just sit there. We might as well. We, we are done, I think. We're, we're almost out of here. We truly want to thank all our sponsors for um, helping us put this show on once a month. We shoot the show every fourth Friday live at Access, and then we air every Thursday at 8 p.m. on Cox Channel 20 and Comcast 74. And Cat has a show called A Walk on the Wild Side, which is our more adult show plays uh friday nights at 11 p.m so thank you brad thank you alejandro thank you richard thank you joe thank you deacon cool cat kitties thank you to mrs bedford thank you to tiger thank you to janet and peter thank you to michael thank you to who am I missing? God. <laughs> Who? God. That's right, God on the microphone. And my beautiful partner here. Thank you so much. Mwah. Thank you, Tucson. We love you. Hey, dude. You still are looking for Oh, I thank you, baby. I do. Would you like to hear it? Stop.